Hey everyone, welcome back, it's Dan again. This video is going to be a little different to what we normally do. Uh, I'm not really showing you how I make the art, I've, I've, I've done that in a few videos before. This piece is a little bit more complex than what I normally do, so um, I thought I'd just do some screen grabs and show you in the background. Um, but it is, it is the most complicated piece I've done to date, and I'm, I'm hoping to just carry on with more and more complex pieces and get more interesting results. So I just thought I'd share with you a few tips that have kept me going through this because it, it did take a good few hours to finish um, spread over a, a number of days. So if you're taking on more complex work or you want to take on more complex work, I just thought I'd share a few tips that have helped me get through this. So having a bit of experience with the previous videos where I've done with Vector Line Art where it has taken a, a few hours to, to complete the work, I decided knowing looking at the detail on the photograph this is going to take a long time so i made a commitment to myself i thought it doesn't matter how long it takes just get it done i don't have to do it like every day i can have a day off i can do it for 10 minutes i can do it for an hour but get the thing done one way or the other and now i've finished it i just can't wait to start the next one when i was in the in the bowels of it especially around the spring and the chain and all the, the front brakes I was thinking this is never going to finish, but uh, it does, you just got to keep chipping away. Uh, and now I've finished it, I've got more confidence to go on to the next job, and I, I just really want to get, get stuck into something really mechanical looking and really, really trick looking. You know, twice, three times the size or whatever, but I haven't found the right project yet, so uh, I'll keep looking for that. And the other thing is, it is boring, I mean, I, I find it boring, um, I'm sure a lot of you guys do when, you, when you're clicking on curves and nodes it, it is it's fairly repetitive and it can, it's a bit mundane but you don't have to enjoy it you don't have to enjoy it, it all you got to do is enjoy the end piece which i do i lo love this thing i'm gonna make a new wallpaper with it um so you know, don't enjoy the process well it's better if you do but you don't have to enjoy the process you just have to enjoy the end result you got to just keep focusing on how good it's going to look and you got to keep yourself clicking when you're working on new uh, techniques as well, you want to make sure you, they are. You want you want to stay within your skill set, but you also want to expand it a little bit. If you overreach and try to make too big a jump or improve too fast too soon, you you could burn out or get get stumped. So just do like an extra ten percent every time, every job, every piece you do. Just try to 10-15%, just try and incorporate that into your next piece. Now luckily for me, I, I just do this for fun. Um, I do it for the enjoyment of doing it. Um, although, as I said, I didn't enjoy the process too much on this one. But I do enjoy the end result. But um, there's no, there's nobody breathing down my neck to get this thing finished. It's all self-imposed. Uh, but I did give myself a deadline of two weeks, which may sound like a long time, but I work full time, I've got family commitments, I've got other commitments, but giving yourself that deadline, it just puts a little bit of persuasive pressure on you to keep going. And uh, two weeks was a reasonable amount, especially when I started, I did the outline, I did a few details, I thought, yeah, this is gonna take quite a lot of doing. So th the idea for me is I, I give myself a realistic goal and then I try and beat it, I try and come in a few days or, or even halfway before the end of the deadline. But uh, just having an open-ended project, something with no deadline, it can just sit on your hard drive, it can sit on your desk, and you'll just, you know, not touch it. But having that self-imposed end point in place just keeps you coming back and having a little go. I mean, you don't have to like, do a whole night, you don't have to do a massive marathon session to do this stuff. Just do 10 minutes. If you start doing 10 minutes, quite often what I find is I end up doing half an hour, an hour, two hours, um, but just, just do 10 minutes and see how you go. Also, having a, a, a deadline just keeps that momentum going. You've got, you're a, you're a man or woman in, in motion and you can just, just keep adding. And every little line you do, every little section you do, is one step closer to finishing. As I progress with my own skills, using uh, Inkscape and the Bezier pen tool. I'm sort of thinking bigger now, uh, uh, more intricate and complex projects for the future. But uh, it's still easy to get over-faced with, 
all these lines and, and how much work's involved. All I do is just I just take a section. Um, for example, I do the back wheel or the front wheel or the handlebars or, or just break the little projects, uh, the, break the projects down into little sections and nail it. Just just switch off the rest of it. Don't worry about the rest of it. Concentrate on that one section. Do it. And if it's getting too much, just just take a break because you can easily burn, burn yourself out. I mean, I, my my day job is fairly repetitive and we have ways of, of getting around that and, and so I'm using the same sort of techniques on, on the artwork um, but yeah take a break do something different go for a walk get away from the computer screen make a drink whatever it is personally I've, I've um, in, in the UK we, we don't have great weather but at the minute we're in the summer I set my binoculars up I, I, I look at the moon I look at the planes just for five minutes go out do something different refresh your mind come back in uh, and pick that section up again and just, just keep going away at it also if, if you're getting really stalled and you, you are struggling but you want to complete and you, you, you're pushing yourself to finish just try doing shorter work sections do 10 minutes on with work and then 10 minutes off do something else and just keep um, flipping from one to the other and you'll start to make progress and you'll find that the nearer the end of the project once especially get the, the more, more complex bits out of the way the nearer you get to the end the more you want to do to see it finished so hopefully using these techniques um, will help you actually start the job and finish the job and um, helps maintain the quality of your work throughout so when you've finished you've got a great looking finished piece of art that that will stay in your portfolio or on your social media or wherever for a long time that you can admire and be um, proud of so yeah they're just some little tips for doing more complex artwork I uh, hope they're of use to you if you're still with me uh, still still watching and listening uh, hit, hit that like that would help me out and maybe if you've not already subscribed consider subscribing uh, my name is Dan this is Petrol Vectors and I will see you in the next one